Alright, we're back for more maze. Where'd that fucking bear go? Actually, let's go this way, I think. Not sure, but I think we go this way. Maybe the door will open? Yeah. What is this stupid thing? Ooh, look! Oh, holy shit, there's outdoors! Nature's! Console slot. Okay. This rock has no idea whether it is a rock of assembly of a rock, or an amalgamation of many rocks, or a non-rock. By picking it up, you have undone all of its conclusions about the world up until this point. You have named it Wallace. We actually have a, quite a collection of rocks in here. Let's see. Unstable rock. We have... Mediocre rock. This is a rock you found near an outhouse. You don't know why you have it. It's absolutely mediocre in every way possible. Its name is Chauncey. Nondescript rock, a run-of-the-mill rock with no defining features whatsoever to discern it from the billions of other rocks currently in existence. This one's name is Maple. Let's see, do I got any other rocks? Nope, that's all the rocks. Okay. So I guess this is a ring. Kinda like... Outside, there's rings too. Like. Again with the crawling. Stanya Vesilo. Bye, Vladdy. Have fun. Oh, what is Vladdy doing here? Is this Vladdy's purpose? Crawling <clears throat> and climbing through stupid <clears throat> junk to get <clears throat> more stupid junk? <clears throat> and for what? This stupid garbage? This is useless! No use! No purpose! Just more garbage! Garbage for idiots! Always... Garbage. Well, what'd you bring me? Yalublu. Hope this garbage worth Vladi suffering. But already know the answer. No! Because it's garbage! <sighs> what stupid thing is next? Gibby! Let me out this cutscene. Alright. Boop! Boop! So, this is what stupid thing does? Vladdy still think it garbage. Yeah, I'll bet it was. Alright. Ooh, okay. Let me think you may have problem, idiot. You take too much garbage. Alright, now let's go down to the other door. Put this fucker on and see what's in there. I bet it's another ring. Might not be, though. I could be surprised. Does not sound good. Sure don't. Chitanya Vesilo. 
Why is this place so stupid? Nothing works. Idiot American machines. You're an idiot American Hold machine. Hold on, idiot. Breaking it will help. Stupid. You should take that dumb PC if you can fix it. A new path is open. Head back to the communal grotto. Down to level two. Meow. Communal grotto. Is that the atrium thing? Garbage everywhere. Communal grotto. Head down to level two. I mean, this is a grotto, right? Maybe they mean the, like where the gym was. Oh, this is new. Holy shit, I need a picture of this. Whew, that lag. I'm glad he told you where he is from. Vladdy is from small box, very dark, then stupid idiot brought him out the box, and it was sad. Now, we are here. Bob, you stupid dummy. Why you commissioned that artist to make these maps is beyond me. They are unreadable. Everyone is getting lost down here. Cordially, Ted. Oof. Completely lazy mystery novel. After an unexpected hit, the maligned author was forced to write a sequel. This time he saved everyone the trouble of reading the book altogether and revealed the killer on the back flap. The novel actually chronicles the detective's struggle to return a pair of defective pants. Oh! There's another novel in here. The, uh, original. Let me find it for you. Boring novel. Having no talent at the genre, the author mistakenly revealed the murderer's identity on the first page and spent the rest of the novel outlining a story about the detective buying a pair of pants. Bob, I don't care how good a deal you got, no more lobbies, idiot. Uh-oh. Here's that room I found. Ooh, water cooler. What? Oh man, okay. Alright, alright. I'm not even gonna... I ain't even mad. Ooh. Outline for facility theme park and casino? Holy shit. A very slick looking proposal to rework the facility into a high end theme park and casino resort. Has lots of pleasing looking glass pointing upwards so you know for sure that it's a good idea. Some notable attractions include Vatland, Genet Genetics Kingdom, and Kitchen. My god, Bob, what is this? There is no way any conceivable universe that we can turn this facility into a resort. Stop it, you dummy. Cordially told. This is a stupid. I think that's supposed to be me. Because I am a stupid. I have to say, these are some stylish ass each chairs. I 
Ted. Since you're so worried about security, I did you a favor and beefed up uh, the doors to your room. You're absolutely welcome. Bob. Bob, you jerk. I can't even get into my room because of these stupid discount security measures. Fix it. I'm sick of sleeping in the grotto. Oh, Ted. Goes up here. We need to find more stuff. A rocky rock! Now, this is a rock that knows its place in the world, unquestioning, unwavering, happy, and basking in its complete and utter rockiness. You have named it Shelby. Sturdy box. So, Bob, what do you think of this? See what you've driven me to? Jerk. Cordially, Ted. <laughs> Hi, Ted. This is great. Really excited to see you get into the spirit of things. Added one of mine so we could see it by side by side. I really think it balances the space will help. Oh, hey, guys. Okay. Um. All right. What else? Let's go this way. Oh. Oh, it's a it's a cafeteria. Cute. One potted plant. Take so many oh, useless plastic. things, idiot. You're an idiot. ability to be weaponized on any level, the scientists attempted to see if they could be of any use in the general workplace. They weren't, opting to take naps instead. However, the corn did display a fondness for stacking orange boxes, which they did so every chance they could, and the goal of which seemed to be directing the researchers to do what they wanted. <laughs> oh, look at all these things I could be clicking on. How do I get down there? I could go the fuck around, huh? The final page consists of six appointments. 9 a.m. Do nothing. 11 a.m. Pick up new fedora and glove. <laughs> Jeez. Noon, torture, torture stupid corn for amusement. 3 p.m., hide to avoid work. 5.45, torture corn. 6 p.m., initiate master plan. Oh, this must be Fernando's office. Hi, Fernando. Could you be a pal and place the tour brochures across the facility? There's only a few hundred, so you'll be able to do that in no time flat. Fernando, you cretin, ignore that idiot Bob's request. What you really need to do is sort the samples in the genetics lab from the lens reactive to most. So go do it. Cordially, Ted. Hey, Fernando. Got a more important job for you than that. You need the statue directly above you moved about an inch or so. The scaffolding's already set up, so you'll finish in about an hour or so. Thanks. Fernando, you lazy oaf, don't touch that statue. We don't need yet another insurance claim. Instead, go to the second floor of the barn and observe the corn's behavior in their habitat for several days. Cordially, Ted. 
And don't move a muscle. That'll throw the dead off. What would you need to know? Hey, Fernando. Don't worry about that observation stuff. The corn will take their own notes. Really need you to hang about a few dozen new paintings that just came in. Be a pal and set that up, would you? Please? Thanks. Fernando, you twit, don't lift a finger for those paintings. Instead, use this pen to draft a letter for me. Dear Bob, you're a nitwit and an idiot. Cordially, Ted. Cordially, Ted. Poor Fernando. The one second assistant. A peculiar book on how to be an assistant in the workplace, whose end appears to be do as little as work as possible. Chapters include how to shred everything, an intro into hiding in the office, and shifting blame to the intern. Medicine ball. Yeah. Alright. Alright, I feel like we're coming back for the coffee trolley. Or for non -board. Jesus! Level 3 checkpoint. Well, not no more, it ain't. something else here with those. Bought in bulk and commissioned in a variety of materials, Bob seems to have ordered more statues and can possibly be fit inside the facility. Due to this, a statue storage fee is also included. He did indeed get a discount, but the cost is so outlandish in the first place that the missing zero is barely noticeable. Capuchin treats. Bob mistakenly thought that capuchin was another word for delicacy, and ordered thousands of boxes to snack on. When he was told the snacks were in fact for monkeys, he ate them anyway. Navigational chart. It's a small navigational chart of the Pacific Ocean with a very peculiar course plotted from the United States to an island in the middle of the ocean. The course has more in common with the movement of the small fly than any nautical vessel. It's apparently part of Operation Subaquinium Sub Avenir, but owing to your poor understanding of all languages, you mistakenly think that it's a chain restaurant specialing in, Itaz in Italian cuisine. Wait, let me look here. Hi! Oh, here we go. Do I need glue or something? Bob's journal. Written entirely in red pen, it isn't so much a journal as it is a mindscape with occasional pictures. Massive, ambitious plans are written down and abandoned midway through the inception, and sometimes mid sentence. More capuchin treats and a litter box. Ooh. Oh, this is nice. Oh, here's the gold sink and toilet. I just need pictures of these bathroom facilities. Okay, where's this door go to? Where's camera? Oh, you know what? It probably goes to what's his ass's house. Ah, oh, here we go. Alright, now we're in business. What the hell are you doing? 
Oh, he's stuck in the floor. Oh well. Bye. Alright. Hey, no, don't you didn't mute. Dang. Okay. Bonk. <laughs> oh, wow. Look how that organized does not it sound is. Good. Aha! I finally found you! You've fallen into my clutches, just like all the others. I must say, I'm quite disappointed. I thought you were more clever, more interesting. But no matter. Now, your suffering will be so incomprehensible that your small mind will stupid break! Stupid plant, why is your face like that? But, what is that? Your stupid face is very bad. Dumb plant. Is that on purpose? <laughs> Shut up, you mean Aww. furry stupid! How dare you! I am the pinnacle of my race! You will pay for this insult. Let me just. What's up, boy? Or get some new chicken? You ain't see law. Jeez! That biting is cheating. I win by the fault. Ha 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 ha! Your plans have been foiled by my plans, which are better than yours. You dummy! Ha 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 ha! Okay. And I am most certainly not retreating. Ha 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 ha! Yeah, whatever, Captain you know, Winters. This place is filled with idiots. Look how tidy it is, it's beautiful. So ornery. Alright, ooh, unicorn. Folio. This candle holder carving of Dave, the legendary unicorn brought to life by a hungover demigod. This magical creature possessed near infinite foresight and a complete lack of spatial awareness. It fell to its death immediately after it was created. Ronka. What is Ronka? I need E for that. A cheap knockoff of well-known decaf coffee brand. Oh! Ronka is unique in that it doesn't taste like coffee whatsoever. Instead, the makers went for the taste and texture of an old boot. It's the only thing that the facility's coffee trophy delivers. It's based on instant Sanka. Sanka. I don't remember how it's pronounced, but I do remember that that's what it's called. They used to sponsor I Love Lucy. Local 10 Teen Wins Big Science Award. Oh, jeez. It's an old newspaper clipping that shows a very young Bob and Ted winning a science award for an artificial intelligence prototype. Judging by their demeanor, their partnership hasn't changed much since then. The article notably praises the display's slick presentation spearheaded by a Bob and completely ignores the sciencey parts which Ted did on his own. Oh, I get what they're doing. This is like a Steve Jobs, Steve Wozniak kind of thing. A lab report outlining further tests on the facility's breakthrough test subject, the famed Queen Ruby Queen, uh, famed female Ruby Queen corn. Much more concerning than the last one, it uses phrases like can't be controlled, the corn follow her, and much too British. Recommend sequestering subject as soon as possible until further notice. There's something else about her in here. Let me try and find it. Uh... Triumphant report. The only way this report could sound more triumphant is if trumpets were blared every time it was read. It explains the very promising results after examining one of the new sentient corn stalks, a breed of ruby queen corn that shows high levels of intelligence. It also glosses over the fact that the specimen is somehow female, which is what was which was apparently impossible under the genetic protocol the facility used to create them. So in case you hadn't clued into it, it's that one horn we already talked to. Written entirely in blue pen, the perfectly sized paragraphs is the most depressing diary known to man. Highlights include many thoughts on optimal stock organization, regrets on his partnership with Bob, and sadness that his own project and experimental AI program couldn't get funded. Oh, 
Oh, I can't go in there. I wanna go in there. Who the fuck hangs a picture of themselves in their room, though? Fancy doll. Alright. Go put some coffee on the coffee trolley. Ding. Can I go in there? Oh, I can. Oh, this will probably take me into the kitchen. An autobiographical play about the story of an albino corn stalks quest to destroy something called flesh bags. The story has several continuity problems and the choreography makes absolutely no sense unless the dancers gain the ability to transform into quantum state and teleport from one motion to the other. I'll take that. Filled with garbage. Hey, that's that thing you're always bitching about. Where are you at? Oh, there you are. Collecting all of this garbage will not make you less stupid, idiot. Maybe it was the smell. Maybe it was the way the light caught the plastic. But something about this particular garbage bag caught your eye and never let go. You will carry it with you always. Where is. Where is what I just picked up? Oh, maybe it's in my handy inventory. Oh, yep, there it is. What is this? Framed popcorn ad. Bob was so enamored with this popcorn brand and its mascot that he framed a number of his favorite advertisements and placed them all over the facility. They were removed immediately by nice staff. Bob, I don't care how much you love this third-rate popcorn. Stop framing ads and hanging them here. It's stupid. Cordially, Ted. Oh, I didn't notice this poppy trolley actually looks kind of like a trolley. That's cute. Hi, Ted. Just to let you know, I spilled soda on some of your things and put them in here to dry out. Nothing serious, just some moldy old photos and papers in your important pile. Sorry. Bob, I hate you so much. Cordial. Blue. He won't like it, but he'll do it. Hey! Did I get everything? I don't want to fucking come back. Yeah, I think that's it. Let me out! Thank you. the door back to the whole one. Oh, this door. Why does Bloody have to fixing everything? When is it idiot's turn? Well, why aren't you seeing me fucking assembling all this shit and putting Bloody not even sure what together? to fix. Is Bloody supposed to hit stoop? Stupid American garbage built by idiots. Face is an idiot, and you are stupid American garbage built by idiots. Alright. Did we go everywhere already? No, we don't lag. Okay. Oh, you know what? We have the step ladder so we can go back downstairs and fix that one thing. Oh, 
Oh, you know what? We can probably use this on the gear, too. Yeah, the puzzles in this game, like, the only one that I really, it took me a minute to figure out once I had all the pieces was the, how to get the Etch-a-Sketch to work. Some laggy ass cutscene. Oh, hey. Ooh, this is laggy as fuck. Am I back out of doors? I am. Okay. There's no jumping still. Glad he cannot smell. It would be worse than garbage here. Please do not work within 50 miles without protective wear. Soapy. Oh, you're not gonna let me go in? Come on. some repairs. Yes, it can't do that thing it does anymore. What does it do again? Goes places. All oh, right. Yes, I remember. Well, fine. We'll get right on that, guys. You know what? This is a good place to take a break.